right about now. What's going on, everybody? 2018 Archives Baseball 5 box half case break number two uh, coming out to you. Uh, this break will take some time. So I hope you got your popcorn ready. You know, maybe a, a large cup of coffee. Because we are going to be here a while. All right, let me put the title up on the screen here. There we go, Ashley. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, trust me. When when people see spots moving, that's when they're like, "Oh, I want to get into, you know, I want to get into it because people just they want to get into action." You know? But if if we're just all stuck around, you know, waiting for one another to do something, then we're probably not going to do anything. And that's no way, you know. How is everybody's weekend going so far? I would say, how about them Dolphins? But we lost on Thursday, quite handily, might I add. So I hope your football teams are doing better. Not even my college team can give me something to look forward to because they suck all of a sudden. I don't know where that came from. So, yeah. I think we just got to start playing some of our young players, man. All right. Okay, so this is not what I want it to look like. So, I'm going to have to do that over. What's going on, Kevin? Kevin, you know you know me, baby. We moving everything. Or at least we will attempt to. You know how Uncle Jesse is down. How are you, man? Hope you're having a great Sunday. Yes, Josh, you are correct. I'm pretty sure we can get that filled tonight. There's a few breaks real close to filling, you know, about halfway. Uh, I'll put fillers together once I'm done with the eBay stuff. So if you guys see your team available, pick your team up. Because once we're done with the eBay breaks, I'm going to start running fillers for whatever's closest to filling. And we're going to be breaking, baby. All right, let me grab this archive stuff. Here, back. And we're back with the archives. All right. This is a fun product. It takes me about an hour to do. Oh, maybe, maybe a little under an hour, like 45 minutes. But it does take a while. Lots of packs and cards on this stuff. So here we go. What's up, Chase? Yo, by the way, Chase, I forgot to send you that code for the difference of that uh, prism thing. Did Jason do that for you? And don't lie to me, because I will find out. And I'll call your dad. I'll ca I will call your dad. Well, Kevin, buddy, uh, it, it's like I it's, it's like I tell you, man, we're, we're going to need help on that. We're going to need some help on that. I'll definitely put fillers together, see if we can get it moving, but we need help. Call your friends. Get them up in it. What's up, John? How are you? Hope you're enjoying your weekend. What up, Nick? Living in a man. That is, that is one of the most bittersweet moments in, like, cinema, uh, cinema graphic history. It's one of the greatest dance numbers of all time. You got Apollo Creed, and you got James Brown, you know, the the, the the godfather of funk. They're dancing, having a great jolly old time, and then like 20 minutes later, Apollo Creed is R.I.P. Because of that monster, Yvonne Drago. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, Chase, gotcha. Now listen, as long as you uh, got straight, then that's all I care about. So many packs. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I've uh, I've I've taken up a hobby. I've uh, been golfing. 
for the past two weekends now, I've uh, I've gone golfing. Not like 18 holes, like real golfing. I've been on the driving range. And I've been working on basically just figuring it out, man. Because I've, I've been golfing before, but not like actual, like, you know, mini golf. Which I'm assuming is straight putt game. So my, my putt game is decent, if that's the case. Putt game is decent. But actually hitting the ball like 200 yards, that's difficult. Yo, I did it three times yesterday, man. The last weekend, I went maybe 100 yards once. And yesterday, I hit like, because I've like i been watching like YouTube videos, you know, trying to learn, trying to, trying to you know, I, I, even speaking to people on the driving range as well. I was like, hey, man. Just observing them, asking them questions and whatnot, you know, picking the range. And, dude, I hit, like, three of them over 200 yards, bro. It felt surreal. It felt surreal. Because I, I didn't think I was capable of that. And it's not like they were, like, slicing to the right or to the left, you know what I mean? No, they were, like, dead on. Like, straight ahead. That's why I couldn't believe it. Because I've hit a few long balls, but they would slice to the right. And that's because, apparently, I'm not, I'm not hitting a dead center. And, dude, I let a few just right down. The, oh, man, it was awesome. You know what's funny, Chase? The dude recommend, because uh, when, we when we were picking up the, the golf balls and the, and the clubs or whatever, that's what we asked, like, one of the attendants there. We're like, hey, what do you recommend for the driving range? He said, use a 7-iron, and sure enough, we grab it, and we didn't really like it, so we went over to, I don't know what the numbers mean, to be honest, we just grabbed, like, these bigger-looking clubs, they were, like, a, one was a 3, the other one was a 5, and I was smacking it around with that 3, I ain't even gonna lie, but anyway, let's see what we got here, alright, good luck, everybody, now, these... This is an interesting set right here. There it is. Got these Sandlot Autos Smalls with the on card auto. Everybody knows Scotty, aka Smalls. Pretty sweet. Got the Sandlot Autos in here. It's a fun product. And they look cool, man. I, I like the old school design. And they, they kind of fake you out with the uh, with the fake autograph on there, you know, so you can give it to your 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 four year old or something. Like, hey, look, check out this check out this autograph. Oh my God! Pedro Martinez rookie. Those are cool. The uh, tops rookie history. So you call all clubs woods? Not not well. Uh, how would I know? Until now. Shannon Stewart of the Blue Jays. That's a nice looking auto. Oh, so yeah, I was I was knocking it around with that three wood. And back because I went uh what was it like a, a week ago? Like last weekend, it was my boy's birthday. And we went to this place called Top Golf, where it's it's basically a driving range. They, you know, they serve food, they serve alcohol, so it's a good time. And they have, like, this thing that automatically dispenses the ball. It's pretty swanky. It's pretty swanky. Jeff Bagwell Astros, the uh, Tough Rookie History card there. But anyways, I was smacking it. Like, yeah, they have, like, this uh, this thing where you where you pick up your, 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 uh, your clubs or whatever. And they would tell you, like, the numbers, and they would have, like, words next to it, like, yeah, like, Woods or Driver or... You know, whatever. We were smacking it around with the driver. You know, which was the biggest club. So I was like, shoot, give me the biggest club so I can smack it way out there. You know, that was my mentality, of course. You know. I was like, yeah, you know, bigger a bigger club equals more distance. Duh. Physics. Duh. It was not the case. Not entirely, anyway. What's up, Edward? How are you? My man, so dropping knowledge on me. 
the uh, the high number of iron is a high for a high angle so I'm, I'm assuming for okay and the uh, the lower the number is the lower okay okay interesting interesting huh is that actually true I'm gonna have to Google that this is a Bob Feller of the Indians to uh, 99 oh that's cool Chase nice the iron game is strong Kendra okay so my that's what I've been at that's what I've been doing I've been working on, on, on my uh, I've been just playing on the driving range so I'm, my thing is I've just been smacking it for distance Matt Olson to 175 for the A's but I really just want to I, I really just this weekend or yesterday I should say I was working on just just actually just making solid contact with it not so much worrying about the distance I was really more so concerned with just just hitting the ball dead center and if I can hit it with any club then you know I'm, I'm good we were hitting like we, we rented some clubs that they had there at the at the um, at the golf course because it's a it's a legit golf course it's actually a really cool spot it's like right by my house it's like maybe two three miles from my house so I could you know ride my bike there or something if I felt like it you know Get a little cardio on the way to golfing mind you that dude in this in this Florida weather golfing is is a bit of a workout yeah I, I didn't think it would be as taxing as, as it was honestly because I, you know, I look at the I look at the dude they put up on Sports Center, the golf these golfers, and they all just look like regular Joe Schmoes. But no, they 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 put some work in. So as the numbers go up, so does the angle of the club. Ha. Huh. Good to know. Good to freaking know. I'm gonna remember that. Dude, not for nothing, yo. Golfing is really fun, man. Golfing is really fun. All right, so Chase, if you've been golfing for a good amount of time, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot a stupid question your way. So here goes. If you're if you're decent at mini golf. Would that translate to like actual golf? You know, I, I'll, I'll admit, golf is one of those sports where it's boring to watch. But just like any sport, when you're in it, it's fun as hell. You know, not, not for nothing, no disrespect, because we are doing a baseball break here. But baseball, to me, personally, is one of the most boring sports to watch. It's not, it's not fast enough for me. You know? I get bored easily, so watching a baseball game, I'm probably going to fall asleep. Just being honest. But actually playing in a baseball game is fun as hell. So, same with golf. It, you know, I, I don't think I could ever watch it. Maybe, maybe to, like, learn from it now. But actually playing golf is fun as hell, man. I can't wait to go back next weekend, man. It's you know what? It's low key. It's gonna it's gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be doing it like every day, because it's so close to my house. I think I'm gonna get like a routine going, where I'm gonna set aside like maybe an hour, or maybe even two out of my day just to go to the range, and just and just work on my on on, on my game. Because I, I would like to be doing 18 holes sometime soon. I, I don't know how realistic that is, honestly. Because I, you know, I I like to think highly of myself sometimes. <laughs> so I don't know how realistic doing 18 holes would be right now with my skill level. Or lack thereof. 
But dude, Dolphin is fun, man. I was also watching this third season of Daredevil. Oh boy. Alright, let's continue with this though. funny you mention that chase i was watching someone on youtube trying to trying to uh, just trying to learn you know to 175 jose ramirez indians i'm not sure what his name was though like i just i just like typed in on on youtube like golf help or something like that to that to that effect and i just started watching videos eventually i came across this one tiger woods video and i just started watching that and man that dude is Next level good. Roberto Clemente Pirate to the uh, rookie history card. That's a cool looking card. Many more gold. Padres to 25. Me and my boy were talking, like, just talking, you know, shooting the shit. And we're like, dude, what if we get so good, like, we can actually go on the PGA Tour? <laughs> ah, that'll be, dude, that'll be awesome. Yo, Uncle Jesse's on the PGA Tour. And then I'll do, like, a break right after. Al Kaline, rookie history card. Super cool looking cards, man. And again, you can give it to like your five year old to be like, hey, this is an actual autograph, but you could give him this one. Give this uh, give this Ozzy Smith. Be like, hey, look, here's an autograph, Ozzy Smith. Cardinals, boom. And then the five year olds will be like, oh my God. And then for you, you got the actual auto. Mike Timlin right there for the Red Sox. Not numbered, but still nice. My boy swings at it like it's a because he used to play baseball, so he swings at the at the ball. He tried like the way he swings, it's like a baseball swing. It's pretty hilarious. Call him Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Mike Trout, the rookie history card. So one of our lights went out. That's not fun. It's gonna get dark in here once the once the sun goes down. Brad Radke. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. For the twins. Autograph. Still got three boxes to go. Again, my baseball knowledge is not the greatest. But I don't think these autos have been... Uh, how do you say? Muy bueno? That, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the muy buenos. We're looking for the hotness. It's time to turn it up. Archives. This is box three, if you're keeping count. Uh, negative, Rick. After this is Phoenix Football, 11. After that is Revolution Basketball, 18. And after that is Hoops Basketball, number five. So Chase, how'd you how'd you enjoy your trip to the Philippines, man? You never really told me. Did you do anything fun? I mean, wait, was it the Philippines or was it? Th I think it was the Philippines. You got so you just you just got drunk. Is that what you did the entire time? You could you could you could have done you could have done that here in the states, man. You can get wasted anywhere. 
Oh yeah, Rick T. Like, what is there to do in the Philippines? They probably got really nice beaches or something out there. Nice. With the white sand? Nice. Sounds fancy. Can't even go to the beach here in Miami anymore. Well, actually, no, I lied. I think that's on the on the west coast of the Panhandle. I don't think I've heard any, anything about Red Tide here in Miami Beach. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. What you got for me? We got a Charles Nagy Indians autograph. Isn't there wrestling going on tonight? Like evolution, I think. Is that tonight? Willie McAvee, the uh, rookie history card. You got stuck in Manila for over five hours. That sounds like a blast. You get to know the locals, you know. What, what better way to get to know people than, than, you know, being stuck in traffic? Orlando Merced, Pirates Autograph, number to Don Mattingly, rookie history card. All right. Many more go Padres to one seventy five. So. Rams gonna lose their first game, really? What's the? I don't even know who they're playing. I can tell you what though, Dolphins got whooped. That's one thing I do know. Dolphins suck, and somehow we're only four and four. Which is, uh, you know, forever optimistic with my Dolphins here. But dare I say, we still have a chance to make the playoffs? I mean, I listen, Edward. You didn't tell me shit. I already know the Dolphins suck. I knew we were going to lose that game. If you were watching, you would have heard me say that we were going to lose by at least three touchdowns. And we, you know, that's exactly what we did. You didn't tell me anything, Edward. I already knew. Dolphins suck. And maybe the Texans are good too. I don't know. 
But one thing is for sure, Dolphins suck. Whoop de doo, Edward. You, you you want a cookie? Tell tell your boy to do, to throw to D hop more, man. I need the fantasy points. Exactly. You know, I, I got Hopkins. I, I I need the points. You know, he got four touchdowns, but like three of them were to like Will Fuller or something like that. I don't know. Fuller's out? Seriously? That's not good. Man, I am getting spanked. Man, Juju Smith-Schuster killed me today, bro. And John Brown. Bro, if I had put in Wendell Smallwood and Deshaun Jackson, I would have had a chance right now. Damn. I need Aaron Rodgers to put the team on his back. I need touchdowns, Aaron. A bunch of them. I need like four. And 400 yards. On the LA Rams, apparently. <laughs> Eric Ebron, you too. I need, I need more than 1.7. I got Will Lutz still left to play, so hopefully he kicks like 20 field goals tonight. Le'Veon Bell supposed to play today for uh, the, the, uh, he, I don't think he reported to uh, to Pittsburgh already played that, that game is done so Le'Veon Bell reported to camp or, or I should say to the team already I mean I, I think this is his last week to do it Who's citing Des Bryant? The Dolphins? Nah, no way. I think Coach Gase has gotten to the point where he's like, alright, we've suffered way too many injuries. I mean, we still got a chance, really. I mean, but Des Bryant's not going to be the solution. We need a better quarterback. AJ Pollock to 99 DVAX. And honestly, dude, our, our defense just. We we need help on that D line. We we got we're down two starters there, and our, our linebackers are young as hell. One's a second year player who missed his entire first season. 
you know, his rookie season with an injury. And then we got another rookie, you know, starting linebacker. So, you know, we, 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 got, we, got, we got some work to do. I still really like our, D, our, our defensive backs. But uh, there, there's one glaring, glaring weak link. And that is uh, Bobby McCain. He, he's got to go. Brad Ausmus of the Astros. There you go. Number 225. Oh, dude, J.J. Watt in a Dolphins uniform would be awesome. But there is no way the Texans are going to let him ride. And we got some young talent, too, on the D-line. Charles Harris. But, you know, he's in, like, he's in his second year. Jim Palmer, rookie history card right there for the Orioles. We, we got some work to do, but I, I like the future. I just, you know, as a fan, I, I want to see results now. Gary Matthews of the Braves autograph. That's nice. Boom. Jackson A's uh, history rookie card. Boom. You know, Chase, I'm going to have to agree with Edward, man. Texans definitely need an O-line more than they need another receiver. You know, what's, what's good for the Texans, too, is having played that Thursday game, don't, don't have to play until Sunday, I think. I don't know what their schedule's looking like. Dolphins need a bye week, and we need one bad. But I don't think we're going to be getting one anytime soon. Not for another couple weeks, I think. How about them heat, though? How about them heat, though? Them boys is looking good, man. We're 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, next we play against we play Sunday against the Jets. That one's gonna be at home, so we we gotta we gotta take care of home. And then after that, we play the Packers in Green Bay. Then we go on the road again to the Colts. Then we play back home against the Bills. Then we play the Dolphins at the crib. Then we're on the road against Minnesota. And then we finish out the season. Well, no, yeah, we finish out the season with the Jaguars. No, we finish out the season with the Bills. At the Bills, of all places. Oh, God, that's going to suck. Playing in freaking Buffalo in December. You know, looking at these box scores, man, Dolphins have been a weird team. But yeah, after the Packers game, we got a bye week. So Dolphins need to win these next two games, man. 
or at least win, you know, one of them. We can't lose both. If we can at the very least beat the Jets and somehow, some way, beat the Packers, we head into the bye week six and four. Then we got the games against the Colts, Dolphins. Um, Dolphins. We got the Colts, the Bills. We we should be able to win those games. We play the Patriots at home. We're good to beat the Patriots at home. So I kind of I like us in that one. We play the Vikings. That low key might be a loss. We play the Jaguars. I think we could upset them boys low key. The way they've been playing this year. And then we got the Bills again. I think we can win that game. Not for nothing, man. I think the Dolphins can make some noise here. We just got to get healthy. If we can get healthy, if we can get, you know, make it to that bye week that we got coming up in two weeks. Without any more injuries, dude. I think we could make a push. Maybe make a trade somewhere. I don't, I don't know what the tr when the trading line is, but... Forever optimistic with my Dolphins. Oh, that's not cool. When is game five game five of the World Series this tonight? Yup. Red Sox up 3-1. Oh, boy. Alright, what do we got here? This is the last box. Trevor Story, Rockies to Wow, Chase. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I don't think you need to tell us that. Shamanea of the A's to 175. What a guy. What a guy. Autograph here for Rich Aurelia. Boom, boom. Winfield Padres rookie. I wish the Rams played in those uniforms like always. Those uniforms are so clean.
Josh Waltz Braves rookie history card. I'm going to be in Georgia in a couple weeks. Get to see some family. Excited for that. Nice. And last but not least, Tommy Timmons of the Sandlot autograph. And that's how we finish this thing off. So let's go ahead and uh, recap this, shall we? So let me do a little separation here. Because while the rookie history cards are nice, these are not numbered. So. All right, these are though. All right, so these are numbered to 175, the purple ones there, purple border. We got a Shamanea A's, uh, Margot Padres, Ramirez Indians, and Olsen A's. These, which are kind of silverish, if you will, are to 99. We have uh, Feller Indians, Story Rockies, and D Bags AJ Polak. And then we got this many more go the Padres, which is numbered to 25. But for what you really want to see, the autos. We got Tommy Timmons of the Sandlot. We also have Scotty Smalls of the Sandlot. We got Rich Aurelia, Giants. Gary Matthews Braves, Brad Osmus of the Astros to 25, Orlando Merced Pirates to 150, Charles Nagy Indians, Brad Radke Twins, Mike Timlin Red Sox, and Shannon Stewart Blue Jays. And that's it for the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out to you.